Welcome back guys, welcome to another lecture. So today what we're gonna do is, as I told you, our application is pretty much uh, like this and it's not that safe. And why I'm saying this because even if we are logged out, we can still access this part. But that's easy fix. But first, what I want you to have, so when you go here, I just wanna have some sort of pagination, right? And uh, the pagination in Laravel it's very easy so first things first we need to find where this is coming from this is coming from our pages controller if you remember so go to app con HTTP controllers and pages controller and that pages controller actually go to the index but we find all of the posts so what I'm going to do now you can just comment this one to know the steps that we are doing this but now I can say posts it will be post and I will say paginate method and here inside you can put the number of results you want to do for example if I wanted to have only three three results per page then I will say three and I'm gonna save that remember this post is passed on the view so now if I go refresh here I will have only three posts so I have new title new title with this one and post two that's very awesome now but you say somebody will say okay where's the links so the links is something else so we need to go actually into the index index file and that index file is actually if you go back so i'm just going to close this http app so we're going to go in the resources we are going to get inside so i'm just going to close this post so we are going to here actually in this index remember that blade we not use that blade anymore so this index here and what we can do is actually we can just add those links so after this so after actually after and for each we have this div if you close it like this so you can make a comment here end of the row so which I suggest you should do it because you will not have problems if you maybe you're gonna put the you know links here but that's not gonna work now make sure that you always know where the ends of the container like that and I'm not gonna do this for this course because in, if you follow me the, with the other courses or um, yeah you will see that I'm doing that there so I don't want to teach you things that I already already do and did before and I um, don't want to waste your time so but you should know how to, to do this container ends very good now here above in the between these containers I'm just gonna create a row class and inside that row what I will say I want inside to have call MD 12 right I just put it like this so inside is call MD it means column is gonna stretch to 12 columns I'm just gonna say we're gonna use the posts not post because at the moment we are not inside that loop so we need posts we need that collection there and I'm just gonna say links and that's a method by the way now that's done let's see what's happening and post links not link that's why saying a link doesn't exist my, my mistake so here it is so if I go to the second one it will give me the rest of because I have five posts by the way so if you go to the posts we will see that one two three four five there are five inside but I don't like the way it's positioned there so what we can do uh, let's give it a margin margin of five Let's put a margin of five. Let's see if it's gonna shift a little bit. That's it. And I just need justify content center. It should be good. Nope, it's not working because we missed display flex, right? So display flex, we need this first one, and after that to justify the content in the center. And here we go. Now if I have the other one, the other one, it, you can use the arrow arrows if you want. So that's pretty much it. This is in the, up here. You can see that we are going to page one and page two. This is 
so much um, easy. This is so easy because before we have to write a bunch of code in order to do this. So Laravel is doing this for us and we should be happy. Now, remember that last time I when I talk, so if I go lo log out, which is nice, This we have this functionality, that's awesome but we don't have one other functionality and that means that if I go here if I go straight to post I can see this I can delete it doesn't matter what I can do maybe it's not gonna allow me to delete it but I can do things if I go view I can view the post and that's pretty much it we just want to stay with the view we don't want to see all of this like this we if we are logged in yes we want to do this now remember that if I go back to I'm just gonna close this pages controller so if you go back to the app we have the posts controller in here we manage all of our functionality with the posts that's why we have this one and that's why if you go to the um, I'm just gonna close this routes web so now we do have everything here in the resources is dealing with this controller so post is dealt by this control right before we had the block we're not going to use that one anymore so you can delete it if you want but that's for there just to be before we exercise how to do this so you don't need actually this but it is for you to follow it now post controller deals with all of our functionality so if we go here we are listing all the posts we're creating the posts we are returning post create we are storing, so we are just making, we are saving to the database. We are just showing individual posts, editing individual posts, and we are updating and deleting. Right? Destroying means deleting. Now, remember that I've talked, if we go here, we, we have here that our posts, if we start from here until here, they have only one middleware, middleware called web. And if you see that login and home, there is another middle, middleware there called auth. So auth middleware will help us to avoid a couple of things. So let's just create above this one here. I will just say public function. And here I will say construct. Construct. So that means if I if I can type it right, con and construct so here and I think I misspelled it again right just wait so double underscore C O N S T R U -N. that's it I think I'm done I've done Whew, that was hard and <laughs> this here we can say this middleware and inside we can say auth like that so we just basically I could do I, I could just copy uh, what we have in this one so you can copy if you have a problems like me just copy it here and paste it here now let's see what's happening so now if I refresh here yeah it's gonna not gonna show me so I have post create one more thing so it's not allow allowing me to do now just log in with my user gmail.com my password is one till nine and here it is I do have post create I can access the post I can view them right but now let's see let's look let's go back and everything is working as it should but if I log out we have one problem that we need to address so I can this is no problem we can go from one page to another but if I want, want to go to view the post it's gonna give me login why because viewing the post is actually done here in the show and what we are saying by this the middleware is saying okay if you're not logging you will not be able to see it that's very bad it's bad for our users because they want to read what's what's in the post right they want to read it because we are just want that to be publicly assist acceptable or not acceptable accessible so you can access this one without any problem so one more thing that we can do you can create another controller for that without this middleware which I'm not gonna do it but I'm just saying you can create 
another middleware just for that you need to create a route for that one and a lot of other things but because we are we are at the moment here what I can just show you we can specify which of the methods to have this middleware and which not to have so it's gonna be easy for us to say okay I just want this one to be applied and here we can pass in array if you have one or more so you actually accept and and we can say which method here our method is show right so I can say accept show now I'm gonna save it and let's see if this is gonna work so I am logged out as a user so if I go view here it is I can see the post now that's very awesome so we have no problems now our application is super safe means I can't go to posts very good I can't go to creating because remember in the post so if, if I do go login so here rig mail.com and oh, gmail should be right by the way I'm gonna tell you one more easy way how we can do this uh, yeah so if I go now to the dashboard and if I go view the post I do see this all the functionality editing and deleting the post but we just want to see that if we are logged in user now very nice so the next thing is that what we're gonna do is still our application is not that I mean it's not that safe it's it's not it is safe but for example let's log out and I'm just gonna show you the problem and I will say new or let's, let's say test test at gmail.com and the password will be from not one to nine so I'm just gonna register I'm see there so view posts voila I see all the posts from the other user this is not from the test user so we need to fix this this is not good right if I go back yes this is the option that I want I want all of the posts to be there so as this user if I go create post test title and this oops this is the body of the test user now this is just not a good example but I just want to show you so it's post created and I have this one so what we are going to do next time we're just gonna restrict to see all of this post because here definitely I can edit the post even if not I'm not the owner right so I don't want that one I just want the post to be listed for this user only I don't want to be able to actually you can view the all of the posts from here but I don't want to view to delete them in or update them right so that is not something that is done in this part so we're gonna do that one in the next lecture I hope you enjoyed this one so what you have learned we've created a pagination we've created uh, a little bit of middleware and security so we are saying that this post controller will be available to everyone that's authenticated and registered except the show method the show method is was just for listing or viewing individual post and that's pretty much it so and we also create another user with the test and now on the next stage will be to prevent this user to edit and delete the post that are not that, that not belongs to this user so that's it for this lecture I hope you like it see you in the next one and stay safe and be positive